All right, so here we are, day two. I am heading over to the Marriott um, where Taylor has a hotel suite. Doing some filming in there. There's been a bunch of like artists and stuff in there. I didn't make it over yesterday because yesterday was such an insanely busy day. It was so awesome. Um, super excited about today. There are some more really great artists playing and I really can't wait to catch um, a few of those, including Snuffy Walden, who I met yesterday, which was so cool. Um, so yeah, heading over to the Marriott right now. Should be really fun. Okay, check it out. Okay, so here's what's happening right now. Jay and I are walking back to the Taylor booth. We need an oh, instrument wow. cable to plug in a GS Mini bass. So we're gonna go scour that out. I just need to get outside a little bit. I've been camped out in my room editing all night and stuff. And then we're gonna be back in the uh, in the artist suite filming some some great artist artist video. It's just all around gonna be a fun day. This is good. Bubbly. Jay's drinking bubbly water. Sparkly water. Sparkly water. Sparkly. I don't know why I call it sparkly. It's not You're like very a, sparkly it's not person. like a bright guitar or something like that. You're a very sparkly person in general. Sparkly. I'm wearing pink ish. Probably gonna call them sparkles the rest of the day. It's gonna be a thing. My wife got me this shirt for Christmas. I was like, sweet. All the rest of my clothes say Taylor on them. <laughs> a good half of mine, so. But you said that was inside guy. Like, I have zero, I had zero problems with people who wear their sunglasses inside. Well, you're up on Nambigo right away. Right. Like, what? <laughs> if I had a studded hat on, you'd be, I know. Two up on Nambigo for the day. 100%. Oh, yeah. oh hey, hey, Colin. Oh, hi. Oh, right. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. I am. Oh, sorry, you spoke with the Yeah, sorry, sorry. Um, so when you're finished, just go straight, the eyes go straight to the, the imaginary man. So the, the ending will be something like. Yeah. And then look up there. Yeah, and you can even just let it ring. Okay. That one's home. Those three strings. Yeah. And then as it. And then. You pop these out of the session and people go like, hmm, at first. And you go, oh, wait a minute. Even in front of a microphone. Like if you're playing like a. Oh, sorry. Even if you're playing like a jazz standard, yeah. it has a voice, right? And then if you're... It speaks to a microphone really well. You plug this thing in and it's like, whoa. Yeah, plugged in it's really great. It's right? really so like It's great. But it's no toy. I, I mean, I, I've been recommending people plug it in, man. Is that the guitar I had? Okay, so. Check it out. Okay, you have it. Let's have that. Let's keep it.
All right, so we're just uh, gonna go walk the floor for a little bit and just kind of see what's what. She some cool B-roll. <gasps> Rand cook. <laughs> Woo! Nam is the best thing. You run into the coolest people in the world. Is Cindy here? She is. She's in there somewhere. Cindy's in there. Good to see you, my friend. I love running into the cool people. So I'm here in the Adam Hall booth. Um, if you see, you'll see soon. Um, I'm doing some some ES2 videos, and the, the LD Systems Maui series are like one of my favorite all-in-one PA systems. And I'm using those in in the series um, just because they're incredible and they sound awesome. So ES2 works really great. I've got the uh, the Maui 11 um, right now to use, and, and it's just awesome. So. This is a great booth to stop by and check out because these things are great. So I am making my way back into the booth to shoot um, artist performance stuff. There, there's some great artists um, playing shortly. Um, Snuffy and Sarah are about to play, which is going to be Snuffy Walden. So I couldn't be more excited about that. So I have with me um, this is my friend Matt Wall. Um, anytime, like in Taylor Guitars Owners Group or other forums when like there's Taylor questions I can't answer or I need someone to kind of back me up on information, this is the gentleman I always contact. Matt was my inside guy like when I had a bench at a shop and worked on guitars on a regular basis. This is the guy who's taught me everything I know about Taylor. So Matt Wall, you guys, huge thank you to this guy for all the amazing information. This, this day is going to be very artist heavy. There's going to be a lot of performances, but I feel like that's a really good thing. So enjoy them. I'm just going to kind of try and introduce them and string them all together, but enjoy. Dark in my heart and it feels like a cold night Today's a new day But tell me where are my blue skies Where is the love and the joy that you promised to tell me it's alright She's great, isn't she? You're both great. You guys are incredible. Oh, thanks. Oh, so good. Thank you. Tell me Thank I can you. go buy it now, right? Uh, we're working on a new record. Yeah, There's some, yeah but we're, we're working on a fourth record. So we'll get you some, whatever you need. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy them. I like buying artist records. Yeah, we're going to Great to see a lot of people here. I wasn't uh, sure. I mean, I mean, I guess because it's Taylor, there, there would be. Um, I think it's got a lot more to do with who's playing than that it's Taylor, I promise you. But seriously, thanks so much. That was great. Thank you. Knocked out. See you again? Yeah, yeah. I'll show you. I got this, the Builder's Edition 6. I'm going to go see Anna and the friends of the road. Anna and Electra. Um, Snuffy and Sarah was incredible. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to put a ton of it in the vlog because it was great. Good, good to see you. you. Good, good to see you, you man. I didn't see you. Here. Yeah, a couple years ago. So sometimes at NAMM you have like, these happy run-ins. I ran into Billy Galewood, which is incredible. Uh, hey, hey fellow, fellow Ohio natives. Like fellow Ohio students. native yeah. here celebrating uh, in Los Angeles, California. Yeah. The convention of all conventions. Convention of all the things. Billy and I have a mutual friend, our buddy Jim Weiser. That's true. I've known since I was nine. The best guy. Like. 
Hi, Jim. Hey, Jim. <laughs> Hope you're having fun. I saw Billy. There we go. <laughs> hey, learn music, play music, practice a lot, and you always have something to do. Listen to Billy. He's a good guy. <laughs> He's like, like the, what? he's like, Andy is like everybody's dad. Kind of oh like, my god, I spent like, so nice. just a couple hours with him, I was like, please don't ever leave my son, I just want you to be my best friend forever. Right? Yeah. Teach me all the things. Oh. Yeah, I could like hang out and play guitar with yeah. him and talk about guitar all day. And there I was, in this hopeless city. Is, is Jim Curlin. If you read Wood and Steel, this is the guy responsible for all of that. And I know you read Wood and Steel, so Jim is, is you basically write most of it, right? Good chunk point. of it. Good, good chunk, chunk of, it. of it. So all the incredible articles and stuff in Wood and Steel, all the great content which I've been feeding on all these years, like that all comes from Jim. A lot of it is still stuff that we're, it's product based, so we're, there's always stories to be told about the new things that are coming out. So, sure. with the stuff like the Grand Pacific, it's really cool because we've been able to tell the launch story, you know, how this thing got was inspired, how it got designed, but now we're putting it out in the world. So, I think it's going to be more storytelling in terms of what are artists doing with this guitar? How are they using it? Because we're just part of that equation. Once we, the magic happens when you put it into different players' hands and seeing what it does to them, you know, how they're inspired by it. So I think a lot of it's going to be more content creation along those lines. Um, there's always sustainability stories to be told. We're really excited about the Ebony Project and as that continues to evolve, so expect more storytelling with the help of Scott Paul, our director of natural yeah. resource sustainability. Scott was talking yesterday about the new Koa Project yep. too. Like, yep. That's really exciting to learn about. So we're back in the booth. The show is officially like closed down or closing down right now, um, but we're hanging out for some sound check action. Um, really excited about tomorrow's artists. Um, at three o'clock we have Daniel Donato, we have uh, Trey Hensley and Rob at four, and then we have at five we have the White Buffalo, which I am so stoked about. Um, another great day for artists today was was awesome for artists. Um, really like wildly. You know, varied musical talent. Um, it's really cool seeing what a wide variety of people do with with these awesome guitars. So this one's going to be pretty fun too. Sweet Sally's house 
Um, Trey Hensley is here. Yeah, extremely excited to see. Um, I saw you in Nashville playing the prototype. Yeah, which was super fun. Oh man, it was a blast. It was really awesome in Zach Brown's studio, and I can't wait yeah. to see you guys play tomorrow. You're going to show people's faces oh, off. Oh man, so thrilled to get to play here for you guys. It's gonna be so rad. These new guitars are the best. I'm, I mean, you make anything sound amazing, but oh. I think it's really cool. It's like, you know, hearing what this does, and the, and the hands were real fun. Oh, really man, they're it's, tearing it up. Well, I mean, at the studio, it's really inspiring. I mean, that's, I kind of played for a super long time because yeah. those guitars were just so, it makes you want to play more. So. That's awesome. Yeah, man, they're great. Yeah. <laughs> 